Welcome to this video on free body diagram. Free body diagram is a part of the statics power software from uh, Actas Potentia. So you start the software and click on the free body diagram button and you will initiate the free body diagram application. So the purpose of this video is to show two problems utilizing an A-frame and one is a simple problem and one is a little more complex. So let's begin with the simple one. So here we are in the workspace, we are going to build a, an A-frame. So I take a two-point member and bring it into the workspace Another straight member, bring it to the workspace. Another straight member, bring it to the workspace. Join the members at B, E, and D with three pins. We put a pin support at C and a roller support at A. Now we are going to put some loads on this A-frame. So let's click on the load button. Insert here. We will click uh, select a point force by clicking on this radio button. And we want this load, vertical load applied at a distance of, let's say, five from point B. So insert five and accept. Let's add another force on this member. Again, a point force at a distance of, let's say, six from point B. So this is the A-frame you can see that the member ED is a two force member because there are only two forces acting, one at pin E and one at pin D. Whereas AEB is a multi-force member with force acting at A, E, and the applied load and at B. Similarly, BDC is a multi-force member forces acting at pins B, D, C, and then an applied load. Let's draw the free body diagram of this frame. This is the whole body free body. And you can see that this is the force from the roller. This is the force from the pin. And these are the two applied loads. This is the free body diagram of the left arm of the A-frame. Here is the force from the roller. Here is the force from the two force member. And here is the force from pin B. Let's look at the free body diagram of member CBD. Here is the pin, two force member. And then here is the pin at B. If you look at member DE, D is a two force member. So one force going left, one force going right. And by default, we take the force on two force, two force members as tension. Let's look at the solution strategy, how we can solve this problem or find all the internal forces. Would you like to enter a solution strategy? No, I want the computer to find so what the computer is telling me is that first solve the whole free body diagram. Let's see the whole free body diagram. The whole free body diagram has one, two, three forces. And I can write three equations for the whole free body diagram. Two force balance equation and one moment balance equation. From those three equations, I can calculate these three forces. So remember that this AN is known and CX and CY are known. AN is known, CX, CY are known. Let's look at member ABE. 
Remember, a n is known. So in this free body diagram, I have one, two, three forces remaining. And I can write two force balance equation and one moment balance equation to determine this force F O E and F O B X and F O B Y, the two forces on the member at pin B. Now, so this normal force is known. Force in the two force member is known. Forces at pin B is known. And from the whole free body diagram, these two forces, Cx and Cy, are known. So if you now go to member CBD, you will see that the Cx, Cy, these two are already known from the whole free body diagram. Force from the two force member is known. And these two forces at pin B are known because these two forces at pin B are known. These two forces at pin B and these two forces at pin B are action-reaction forces, and they are equal and opposite from Newton's third law. And that will become clear if you look at pin B. See here, if we have F1B and F0B in the X direction, and F0B and F1B in Y direction, and these two forces are equal and opposite. So the free body diagram is drawn and analyzed by utilizing the solution strategy that is given by the computer. Let's now modify this program a little bit by adding a load on the member which was two force before, but now we are going to add a point load to it. And we will put dis distance from D to be six. So now this member is no longer two force. And now the problem actually gets a little bit complicated. Draw the free body diagram. As before, we can calculate AN, CX, and CY. Let's look at member ABE, which is the left arm. This force is known, but previously we had a two force member attached, but now the horizontal member, this member, ED is not two force anymore because there is a load applied on it. So we are going to get two forces here and two forces here. If we look at the right arm, then this is the force from the pin support. This is the force from the uh, horizontal member. And this is the force at pin B. These two forces are known from the whole free body diagram. From the whole free body diagram, we calculated this and that. And we also calculated this. But still, CBD has one, two, three, four unknowns. These two are already calculated, but still we have one, two, three, four unknowns. Remember, ABE, this force is already calculated. We have one, two, three, four unknowns. So we cannot solve member ABE. We cannot solve member CBD. We cannot solve member DE, which is the horizontal member, because we have one, two, three, four unknowns and three equations. So this is a complex situation where you will have to solve simultaneous equations. Let's see what the computer finds as the solution strategy. As before, the computer asks us to solve the whole free body diagram. So from whole free body diagram, we calculate AN, CX, and CY. Then it wants us to solve pin C. This is pin C. CX is known, so we can calculate the force on the right arm, F, so remember this, F1CX, 
and F1CY we can calculate. Then, if you look at these two steps, it is asking us to solve member ABE and member DE, ABE and DE in step three. So you can see there are two step, two step threes, ABE and DE. That means member ABE and member DE cannot be solved independently they have to be solved simultaneously. So let's look at member ABE. We have one, two, three, four unknowns. Member DE, we actually have only two more unknowns because F2EX, F2EY, F2EX and F2 to EY are equal and opposite to F0EX and F0EY. So they are equal and opposite. They are not new unknowns. So if you combine member ABE and member DE, we will have one, two, three, four, five, and six because these two we can find by using Newton's third law. So we solve, remember, AB in ABE and DE, and then all the way at the end, we solve member CBD. But member CBD, everything is actually determined. This one is determined from Newton's third law and the left arm of the A frame. These two are determined by using Newton's third law and the horizontal member. These two are determined from the whole free body diagram. So this is a complex situation. I call it complex because in some frame problem, you may have to solve two members like ABE and DE simultaneously. That is, write three equations for ABE, three equations for DE, altogether six equations and six unknowns. Thank you for listening.